Hey everybody, today let's talk about the Spider 7 VAV or the soon to be called Optimizer VAV from Honeywell and how easy it is to uh, set up and program with the templates that Honeywell already gives you. So I downloaded one of those templates for uh, this controller and we just gotta go find it. It's under my uh, downloads folder. So I'm gonna go to C Drive, Users my user downloads and here's the template it's a dot ntpl file and if we just copy that we can paste it up here in our templates that way we'll we'll have it there it is uh, that way we'll have it to use and what we could do with that template is it makes it the setup of the vav controller super easy so we come over to BACnet network and we paste that template in and then you can name the controller VAV underscore one underscore one okay and now you could set in your K factor your box size your min max flows everything right here and now what does that do well it gives you this um setup screen here for you right and if you don't like that you go to application configure mode and now you can go back in there and you can set all your set points uh you can set co2 if you're controlling that how you're controlling temperature flow control if you want it pressure independent pressure dependent uh, that's going to show up when you're connected to it and data sharing uh, some of the stuff if you're going to share uh, outdoor air temp to this controller or some other stuff to this controller. So Honeywell made it super easy to set up. And that's all you did. They wrote all the programming for you. So now all the uh, IRM programming is down here. It already has, it's a full template that, that's been checked out. It's got all your... Onboard I.O. tells you where to wire the stuff to. Right? So Honeywell did a, a wonderful job of making this, uh, let's say, striker-like uh, configurable uh, as far as um, just picking the template and going with it and changing some things. And you say, well, what if it has heat or whatever? You can go down here, application view uh one of these here's your tr71 addresses configurations uh, wall modules your control okay right here has reheat and then stage reheat one stage two stage three stage and then a fan if it's parallel or serial or no fan so all your options are here so just like in the the strikers you can go down and just question and answer if it's just a standard uh, VAV box or if you have some custom stuff to add to it you can just add on to the programs that are already built uh, makes it super easy 